Hi everyone, welcome to Bounce. So, Bounce is a puzzle game where you have a ball, that is the spawn point for the ball, and your goal is to get this ball through all the rings in the level, around all the obstacles, and onto this ending point. And you have a variety of tools to accomplish that task. Uh, each level you're given a limited amount of a certain set of tools. So in this one I have this little tube thing, so I can drop the ball in there, and it'll kind of angle it. Uh, I have this one, which is really useful for just determining what direction the ball is going to drop in. Like that. I have the conveyor belt, which is really good because uh, the ball will go any angle on this, so I could drop it like that, and it'll do a huge jump. You can use it to clear walls, and then here, you know, let me combine that with uh, this other one which is this little like speed portal and the ball goes through and it get, it'll get shot out in the direction that the arrows are so let's just shoot it over this wall there we go now when the ball hits a wall you lose basically if anything happens other than the ball going through the rings and landing at the ending point you lose and you have to uh, launch the ball over again Okay, so now let's actually try to solve this puzzle. There's two rings here, as well as some walls, so I'm going to want the ball to come down here through this ring, loop around here, go through this ring, and then land on the point. Or it could go through that ring, come over this wall, and ricochet into this ring. I don't know. I'm going to have to try it out and uh, see what I can do. Yeah, all right. This is always a good one to start out with, just to get your direction proper. And then, let's see what happens if we do that. So it falls limply to the ground, but you get to see this really useful red line that shows you exactly where the ball went. So I could take another one of these, put it right there and almost hit it through the ring. Let's see. See, I got it through the ring without using any of the really good effects, which I'm now going to start using. Okay. So if I put a conveyor belt right here, let's see how far I can launch the ball. Okay, that's not not good enough because it's not over the wall. But what if we add one of these bad boys? Okay, that's too far. But it's really easy to adjust everything. Like this, this game uses the VR controls so well. It's a really intuitive puzzle game. And personally, I don't really like puzzle games, but I actually do like this one because. The whole like red line thing um, and just the uh, intuitiveness of it makes it so it's not as frustrating as a lot of puzzle games. It is like mentally stimulating. It's not super easy, but it also isn't the type of puzzle game where you just like throw your hands up in frustration and give up. Which I mean, I made it to about level uh, level two or level three of um, Fantastic Contraption. So, uh, yeah, I do like this game. I've been playing it for a while at this point. It has 50 levels total. My plan was to play all the levels, but uh, it actually takes a very long time to get through them because this game gets really hard later on. All right, let's see if this little contraption I just set up works to stop the ball. Okay, okay. Now, I'm running out of pieces here, but I'm getting close to my goal. So, let's put this here and just run a little test run. Oh, come on. Now, you do get scored with a little star system based on your efficiency, so using less parts will get you a better score on your first run through the game. 
Once you get all 50 levels, you unlock a new mode. Why'd that happen? You unlock a new mode where uh, you actually get scored based on like the intricacy of your designs. So you can make like huge Rube, Rube Goldberg machines with like all of the pieces that you have. And then you'll get a high score for that as opposed to your first run through where you get a pretty low score for that. But I end up doing it anyways. All right, so now we've got that through here. And the rest should be pretty easy. Just drop it on this conveyor belt, and uh, maybe that'll do the trick on its own. Let's see. Comes down, and bingo! How many stars? One star, because I used almost all of my parts. I have three parts remaining. So let's check the next level here. Okay, now I have a different piece here. This is the trampoline. So using the trampoline and the basic plank of wood, I have to get it through one hoop and onto this thing. Doesn't seem too hard. Set up the trampoline here. I have four trampolines, so that should be plenty. Not a good angle, but as you can see, it's very easy to adjust. So a lot of the game does come down to just like doing little test runs and then adjusting it, like minutely adjusting your angle. If I have like one thing to complain about with this game, it's that some of the later levels with like a bunch of environmental hazards basically boil down to you just like sitting there waiting for the environmental hazard to clear the path for you, and then you launch your ball, you fail, you adjust your angle slightly, and you just do that over and over again. It gets kind of tedious, but I still have a lot of fun in this game. I've made it to level 30 so far, which I will show you next. Um, and yeah, the, the later levels get really, really challenging, but uh, like I said earlier, it's not the kind of, God damn it! I cannot handle this while I'm talking. Like I said earlier, even though it's challenging, it's not, like, really frustrating. Okay, I need to stop just adjusting this guy and just, just work with what I've got here. Because I have plenty of trampolines. Well, I'm gonna adjust that one a little bit. Just a little, okay. Oh, perfect, perfect. Bounce, 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 bounce. Hey, maybe that's why it's called bounce. And... Damn it! <laughs> yes! I also love the music of this game, and... It's just a really immersive game in general, like... I find myself constantly wandering out of my boundary and bumping into stuff, and... That doesn't happen to me a lot in VR games these days, but I get, like, so involved in these little puzzles in the environments that I just totally forget what I'm doing and just walk into the wall or into my desk or whatever. Okay. Hopefully this does the trick. And bounce, 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 bounce. Damn it. <laughs> That's okay. I have four of these little planks. So let's make sure that there's no possible way for this to fail. Yeah. How do you like that? Alright, and I got two stars, even though I wasn't that efficient. Okay. So, I'm not going to do this level. These have been levels um, 12 or 11 and 12, or 10 and 11, this is level 12. Uh, I'm going to jump into level 30 to show you guys what one of the harder levels looks like. And this is one of the hardest levels I've played so far. This is level 30. So the ball starts out over here. You've got to drop it and shoot it through all of these goddamn lasers. And if that wasn't hard enough, 
Then you have to get it through this ring and then up onto that platform, which is surrounded by crazy blocks. So I've managed to set up these little um, ball shooters to get the ball through the lasers if I have like pinpoint timing. And this is where my last shot went, so now I'm going to try to do is create like a little wall so that the ball will hit this and we'll get knocked down and hopefully god damn it hopefully I can just get it to go through on one of these okay and then once it goes through the ring it should be pretty easy although I can't actually get out here to put a lot of stuff down. Once it goes through the ring, I'm gonna put or have it go on this conveyor and do a little jump. And let's just see if I can put anything else up here. If I really stretch, I can do this. So maybe, just maybe, that'll be enough. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Okay, so I need to get the timing just right for this. Nope. There we go. Oh god, I can't see it. It didn't work. It did not goddamn work. Okay, that's good. That's good information though. It's one of the good things about this game is that even when you miss, the little red line tells you where the ball went so you can correct it for next time. So. Bounces off, and I should be able to catch it like that. Put one of these guys in here. For some extra insurance, and let's try it again. Okay. And go. Oh, damn it. It's going, it's going. No, it didn't do it. Oh, god damn it. Now it hit this thing. That's not good. Okay. I hope that does the trick. Let's try again. Let's see if I can get it from here, although I kind of doubt it. It's really hard to tell where the first one is when I need to launch it. Nope. Oh, oh, I almost did it. Right over those lasers. Still doesn't work. Even better. Damn it. God, this is a ridiculous level. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. I know it can work. I'm not gonna tinker with these stupid portals anymore. I'm just gonna spam this stupid ball until it happens. It has to get over these and then under the other ones, I think. Oh, god damn it. Yes! Oh, it worked! It worked! <laughs> it worked! I didn't get to see it, but it worked! Yes! Alright. That was level 30. That's as far as I'm gonna go. This game has 50 levels. I was gonna play all of them, but, um... 
If I did, I'd be up all night. I've probably been playing for like four hours at this point. So, instead of just doing my regular long form rambling video, what I'm gonna do for this one is for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna put a montage of uh, the puzzles that I went through and my solutions. So, enjoy. Are you kidding me? Yes! Yes! Go away. Get these odd shaped blocks out of here. 
Here we go. Hmm, okay. I guess I can use one of these. And put that one there. Oh, that can't use that. 